Good afternoon, everyone. We have, um, for the next 45 minutes, we're going to talk to you about KTC or Kung Thai Card. Today, we have Kun Ratian Simon Kon, our CEO, and Kun Chutide Chayuti, CFO of KTC. I will present to you the performance for the first three quarter of the 2020. And uh, I'm going to go briefly so we can have time for question and answer after this. For the nine months of the 2020, we have the portfolio growing at 6%. Credit card, which is our uh, major business, going at 7%. Personal loan, about 4.2%. Credit card spending is uh, negative 8.3%, as you already know that COVID pandemic hit all over the world, and it's also hit Thailand as well. Um, we talk about the spending later on in the presentation. The NPL, we can still uh, control on the portfolio quality. The NPL for the nine months is 1.9%, which is the lowest in the industry. The credit card uh, NPL is 1.4%. Personal loan is about 2.6%. It's a higher um, risk than the credit card business. The cost of fund, we can maintain at 2.7%. And uh, the end of this year is supposed to be the same at 2.7%. Net interest margin is 15.4. So overall, net profit is about minus 4.6% compared to the 2019. And for the shareholder structure, a little bit history of KTC. Uh, you can see that KTB, which is the um, uh, government bank, they own us 49.2%. Uh, and is holding us uh, around 49% since 2002 that we privatized and listed in the stock exchange. Is the matter company of us. And there are some individual names on the name list of the top 10 shareholders. They are silent shareholders and not related to KTB or KTC. We have eight members of the board of directors and KTB sent two of the representatives to sit uh, on the board. So it's involved in only the board level, but we have a lot of collaboration with KTB. With, uh, we're going to talk more in the later on slide. And uh, for the business that we currently have, um, credit card is the majority of around 65% of total revenue, I mean total receivable. And personal loan is about 35%. But personal loan generate higher yield than credit card. It generate about 42% of the total revenue. And credit card is about 58% uh, of the total revenue. There are different rules and regulations on the credit card, personal loan, and other license that we have. We do have credit card license, personal loan license, nano finance license, PICO license. And uh, for the auto title loan, which we officially launched a couple of months ago, uh, is can use both personal loan business license and uh, PICO license to do the auto title loan. On the credit card uh, business, there are interest rate that we can charge is 16% maximum, uh, which used to be 18%, and the BOT lower the interest rate ceiling from 18% um, to 16% starting from the 1st of August this year. So this year for the first eight months is interest charge at 18% for credit card. And then after the 1st of August, it down to 16%. So we got hit around like uh, four months uh, of the year. And personal loan, it used to be 28% that we can charge maximum. And currently it's go down to 25% starting at the 1st of August, same year, this year. And for auto title loan that uh, we just launched, the business still very small. Uh, it's only like uh, less than 100 uh, million baht. Uh, we can charge a maximum at 24% on that one. On the credit card business, the penetration rate in Thailand is still very low. You're talking about 22% that people uh, settle with the credit card business. And uh, if you look into the trend, you can see that it's go from 14% 10 years ago, and currently it's 22%. So people are changing behavior and it's increasing every year. So we, we look into that opportunity as well. Um, on the number of cards, for the next three pages, we're talking about our credit card business and the market share that we have. 
For the number of cards, we have the market share of 10.7%. And if you look into the acquisition channel, you can see that KTV is one of the major distribution channels for us. They bring in the new application and they solicit the customer for us. Another channel is the direct sale and tele sale. So these two channels is the key to bring in application. And for the spending that we're talking about, the spending on credit cards in order to fee income for us. And for the spending, you can see that we have market share of 11.9%, nearly 12%. is higher than the number of cards, so which means people using our card more than uh, the rest of the peers. We show in the growth percentage, you can see that for the average growth of the credit card spending for the industry is minus 13% and for us is minus 8%. On the portfolio quality, you can see that on the NPL part, <coughs> the nine months NPL showing at 1.4% against the industry average of 2% and we grow the portfolio at 7%. The market share we have on the credit card portfolio is about 13.5%. On personal loan business, we are quite small. Uh, we have the market share of only 5%, but the portfolio quality that you can see, we control on the NPL, the NPL showing at 2.6% against the industry of 3.1%. This page talking about the funding part that we are uh, funding the business. You can see that we have the borrowing portfolio of around uh, 56 billion. Out of that, 81% is the long term that we uh, borrow. We issue bonds to the public in Thai baht bond only and in fixed rate, ranging from two years to 10 years. And the average duration is about like nearly four years. And you can see that the funding cost we can control at the low at 2.7%. And we have the rating of A plus by Tris. We do have credit line from every bank in Thailand of 30 billion and out of that 18 billion come from KTB. We use this on and off uh, for the cash management. And the covenant on the bonds that we issue uh, said the e ratio not more than 10 times. Currently it's only 2.9%, 2.9 times. And so we don't have to worry about raising the capital or anything. Uh, this one is P&L and this one is the key financial ratio. You can see that uh, I want to point out a couple of things in the cost to income ratio is dropped to 31.7%. Operating cost to income ratio also dropped to 24.3%. The difference from cost to income and the operating cost to income is that uh, on the cost to income ratio is the, the, the total cost is including marketing expense as well, but the operating cost is the pure operating. Uh, another thing is that uh, anything related to interest income, because we are non-bank, uh, to book interest income to, uh, in terms of uh, um, accounting standard um, is only 15% that we book in the um, interest income. The rest is go into credit usage fee and it's go right into fee income. So if you look into the financial statement alone, you're going to see the different like the interest income is too low and the fee income is too high that because uh, there are credit uses, which is actually the interest that put in there. So you got to read the MDNA, which we release every quarter along with the financial statement. And in there, we explain how much is the interest and then you can see the, the, the same numbers here. Another thing is dividend. Uh, we pay at least 40% of the net profit. Last year, it's about like 41% that we paying on the dividend. So that kind of wrap up the performance of the company. And then now it's go to the question. The first one, do you have any plan to M&A or joint venture? Well, <clears throat> we are open to our opportunity in M&A and joint ventures. Uh, however, for credit card business, uh, I don't think that M&A will gain any benefit for us based on the regulation that any institution are allowed to provide up to five times of the income to a certain card. So uh, should there be any 
common card holders that going to be a disadvantage rather than the, the, the advantage of doing the M&A. But for any other opportunity, especially in lending business or in platform business, I think if we find that the opportunity is, is, is right for us, then we are ready with the existing uh, leverage that we have at, at only 2.9 times, which is very low. Our limit is 10 times, so, so we have plenty of cash to, to explore such opportunity. The next one is, could you please share the outlook for the credit cost and the NPL going forward? Should you, would you like to share? Well, uh, if you if you have been following uh, our uh, financial statements and uh, loan portfolio quality, uh, you you could also see that in the third quarter, uh, the quality of the portfolio has been improving, and we have been uh, getting through the worst period of the the NPL, uh, which is uh, in the second quarter. Then uh, the existing portfolio is is uh, I think it is very clean. Uh, new NPL input is even better than the same month of the last year. So uh, going forwards, the, the the credit cost uh, should be uh, no more than this in 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 in, in the, under the condition that uh, there is no external factors to 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 impact our portfolio. And also the 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 the, the ongoing uh, uh, incoming applications. Uh, since the interest rate uh, has been capped down from 18 to 16 in case of credit card and 28 to 25 in case of uh, personal loan, uh, so we we have increased the, the cutoff uh, score uh, for the approval score accordingly. Uh, by by doing so, the 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 risk tolerance level has been lowering and then, you know, uh, a kind of uh, uh, going forward, uh, quality of the portfolio should be improving as well. So uh, both existing and the new portfolio coming in would be uh, very uh, a lowering risk uh, than, than, than before. So we are expecting uh, uh, probably a lower credit cost going forward. Okay. Uh, could you talk about e-payment and shopping online in Thailand and how the trend going forward? Well, I think it it, it becomes a, a norm for Thailand to go into e-payment. Actually, uh, Thailand has started an e-payment uh, three years ago, and we're trying to promote Pompeii, but, but the COVID pandemic actually facilitate and, and actually uh, expedite the, the use of e-payment in Thailand as well as uh, online shopping. The growth during the uh, pandemic are uh, very strong. Actually, right after the lockdown, the growth still pretty good and the growth rate so far is is higher than, than previous year. And we still foresee a uh, strong growth going forward. And do you think COVID-19 still impact your business in the 2021? No. Um, I think people will get used to it. Well, we, we might have heard about the the vaccine story now, but, but whether we have vaccine or not, I think people have to adjust to to the pandemic situation, there probably be other germ other than COVID-19 possible, but people will get used to it. I think people now has has changed. They they are using more online as as I have said previously, and and using more e-payment and. Regarding the quality of our portfolio, I think I think we have managed pretty well in 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 the second and third quarter. That that I think our portfolio today is actually 
even better than the quality of the pot. The asset quality is even better than last year. So uh, I think COVID-19 won't have impact on us. Our impact probably came from the economic situation in Thailand next year. Okay. Can you talk about the target customer? Are they lower middle income salary or they are different segments? Well, our base, our majority customer base are, are middle income customer or middle high customer. We have some middle low customer and very slightly uh, low income customer. The fact is the effect of the pandemic really have a very much impact on 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 the on the life of the low income uh, but with the help of government with our the campaign toward this group uh, it helped a little bit but because our positioning is on the mass market and the mass group, I mean the middle income, might not move up, but, but still pretty okay. We do not focus much on the high income because it, it might deliver you a volume, but it did not give you any profit at all. Uh, you have key concern during the pandemic. We used to have a key concern in 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 April on the asset quality and how the pandemic would turn out to be. But once we passed the uh, June, July, and when we taking care of all those. Uh, questioning asset way this way. I think we are now in, in a very good shape and, and I think uh, we are already gone through the worst part of, of the business cycle. Back to the credit cost, can you share the credit cost of the each segment? Sure you did. You want to jump? Sure. Um, I think the, the, the credit cost uh, for for the for both of credit card and and personal loan, uh, even though uh, it has been it has been hit quite hard in in the second quarter, but I think now now that uh, we have uh, come to the point that we bring the the NPL uh, of the card and loans come back to nearly one percent. So so going forward, the credit cost still. Uh, very, very okay. And like uh, Kulatian said, uh, the credit quality of both uh, products are uh, actually better than uh, pre-COVID time. To, to, to add to uh, Kun Chutide's comment, um, right after the writing off of the, the uh, NPL or, or stage three asset in, in the third quarter, we found that the credit cost of of uh, credit card, when you talk about credit cost of credit card and credit cost of uh, personal loan, it seems to be that credit cost of, yeah, put it this way, the nature of credit cost of personal loan going to be slightly higher than the credit cost of credit card business. It didn't wider as expect because when the economy getting worse, people might have thought that it's uncartelized and the uncartelized retail loan probably have a worse credit cost. But we see that the spread between the credit card and uncartelized retail lending remain the same. 
Uh, could you please share the plan of new business and your sustainability plans in the long term, please? Well, uh, let me try the sustainability plans for 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 the next years. Um, I think the among the uh, environment, social, and the governance. Uh, on on the governance side, probably be uh, mostly weighted for for uh, a non bank uh, like us. Uh, we have been uh, a part of the anti corruption front uh, for from the year uh, sixteen until now. Uh, we are also uh, joined the ESG one hundred in the SCT uh, since the year sixteen to the year nineteen as well, and we are rated. Uh, five star on ESG scoring uh, for five consecutive years already. So uh, we we did not uh, we we'll, we will not we will not stop there, but uh, we will try to get uh, the best of the the governance side uh, as as the best we could. On on the the environment, uh, we probably um, contribute not that much on the environment side because uh, we are on the retail uh, lending business, but. Uh, anyway, on the digitalized uh, uh, applications of ours, uh, on that side we we have also uh, reduced tremendously the use of uh, papers and uh, for the statements, uh, the uh, pamphlet uh, sent to 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 the customers and all those things, even even uh, the paperless policy uh, in the office. Um, and we also encourage our customers uh, for like uh, lending for the solar roof and also other uh, green products uh, as well. On on the social side, we also have a, a lot of uh, uh, programs uh, for the students, uh, teach the students, and trying to 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 keep our customers uh, for the disciplinary. Uh, in terms of the financial uh, savings and uh, planning their their cash, and also on the personal loan side, we also extend the 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 uh, vocational uh, program, uh, teaching them the the second skill in in doing uh, the new business uh, for our 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 uh, uh, Lord customers as well. And the next year we. We also plan to launch uh, a program for for those people who are in need of uh, a coach to 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 plan uh, how they could manage their uh, their their debt and their savings. So I think that that's probably uh, something that we are we are tend to do. And uh, and what else in the and the people size is the actually the carter to need lending. We have been exploring the, the new uh, business model in 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 lending for the car title deed lending, uh, which is different from the conventional one that has been into in in the market for a long time. Uh, our model would be uh, the technology uh, mixed with the people, so uh, we might probably need we might not need uh, that many branches, but. Uh, Rather than we have, we need to have the the agents uh, going to see uh, our customer and check the car and send all the information back to the headquarter, and then we we uh, approve the loan and uh, electronically and uh, submit the, uh, send in money into their their wallet. So I think that that's the 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 ways to go for for people. Uh, right now we have uh, the outsourced sales. Uh, acting licensed agents, and also we have also employed uh, KTB uh, around. Uh, first phase is around 20 branches in Bangkok, and now they are expanding it to uh, cover all branches in the Bangkok metropolitan area. Uh, we hope that uh, booking the, of the the title deed lending would would increase and uh, at least uh, up to 200. Million baht portfolio by the year end, and uh, we targeted for one billion baht portfolio for the next year. Okay, about the comment on the outlook for the bad debt and bad debt recovery. 
I think uh, bad debt recovery is going to be strong as it used to be. Uh, don't forget that we just write off uh, a very big amount of uh, of uh, NBL and stage three in the third quarter, and so far the the, the recovery is still still pretty good, amazingly good. Okay, how can you maintain your target customer, and how about the marketing cost? I think because of the slump in in economic condition, I think uh, most financial state uh, institution has been hard hit by the the, the the pandemic as well. So we saw less competition in the market. So uh, this year, uh, we are quite comfortable in, in, in doing our marketing and our marketing cost is actually slightly lower. So, so it's is is much easier for us in in a sense of spending uh, the, the the marketing ca campaign, and at the same time because we have focus on we have we seldom do the whole base uh, promotion, so we target to a certain sector or certain group of customer in in doing marketing. So so far the 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 results has proved to be quite successful you see that uh, our uh, our spending uh, year on year spending is actually uh, 5% more or less uh, higher than industry average uh, there are a couple of questions about the government saving bank. Do you see government saving bank as a leg to yield in the business longer term? And also, kindly share why you have designed not to work with government saving bank. And 18% uh, interest rate that they they gonna do on the motorcycle loan are that too low over the longer period? <laughs> well. Um When when we start to to do our PBM car registration loan business, we start by giving the loan at nineteen percent, okay, and it proved to be profitable. So you ask me whether eighteen percent of uh, GSB is profitable. My answer is yes. Okay. Now, the way of doing business between we and the conventional players in the market are, are, are different. Their business model is having as many branches as possible. Okay. Uh, so they do in a very conventional way, uh, the traditional banking style. The way we are doing is different. That, that's why we wait for a years to to make sure that uh, our models really work, and and we wait until it it reached the full cycle of of a credit cycle. Then we evaluate it. GSB, I think, to start a new business. I think GSB make a, a, a smart move because you the, the best way to start business for GSB is to to join with anyone. Okay, uh, I think GSB join with server is is good for for GSB as well. You, if you want to go into the business and you join with someone who already in this, this business. It, it seems to be okay. In but but then the competition will be among the existing player in that business model. And my personal opinion is that in that area the competition is is very very high. And it probably might not the area that we want to compete with. That's that's why we come up with a different 
with a small deal and, and we believe that this is the the route we want to go and, and we still believe that uh, there are space for us, there are room for us to, to go. Um, next question, any plan to increase dividend policy? Well, dividend policy is, is, is we still have to uh, consult our board of directors, okay? Uh, it's always be our intention to to have a higher dividend every year, or the worst, not 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 lower than the previous year. But the the problem is that we we have a higher eight consecutive. Uh, profit and this year probably be the first year that our profit is lower than previous year uh, so let's see how how large the gap and and definitely we will pay dividend not less than 40 percent uh, uh, dividend payout but see whether we can maintain the the dividend level as equal to last year. Uh, thank you for presentation. Okay, um, there are no more questions from the uh, from the chat. And I think so this is wrap up of our presentation and we see you again for the next quarter. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Uh, I think competition on a credit card uh, uh, are much less. Uh, you, you can see the uh, our spending uh, market share is, is increasing, uh, as I say, because of the uh, because of the economic situation uh, and because of the pandemic that really hurt the the asset quality of the financial institution and so most. Financial institution are trying to to lower their marketing costs, that that give us the the opportunity to to grow more more shares. Uh, some somehow I, I would like to go back to a previous question uh, about uh, GSB uh, car lending business. I think there is a, a one additional question that whether 18% interest rate for motorcycle loans too low over a longer term. I understand that uh, the 18% rate is for car registration loan, but if it expands to motorcycle loan, then I, I'm not so sure. Uh, it, it, it depends on how how well they manage the the quality of asset, but I would say the margin should there be any profit is going to be very very thin. Okay, um, we have we still have time. If you have question, please type up. But yeah, no question, I guess. Um, so if there's no question, we're going to wrap up for the uh, presentation of the third quarter. I'll see you again for the next quarter for the for the whole year of 2020. Thank you very much. Thank you.